Here's how we figure out the number of ions in NaOH. This is sodium hydroxide. So the way to do this is sodium, that's a metal. And then we have these group of nonmetals here. So it's an ionic compound. We'll want to think about the charges. Sodium, that's in group one. So it's going to have a one plus ionic charge. The whole OH group, the hydroxide here, that's going to be a one minus. And really the only thing you can do is memorize that OH, when it's bonded to a metal, that's going to be the hydroxide polyatomic ion. And the whole thing will have a charge of one minus. So these charges add up to zero since it's an ionic compound. This formula unit here should be neutral. If we look at the ions in NaOH, we have the sodium ion, that's Na plus, and then we have that hydroxide ion, OH minus. So we have two ions in each formula unit of sodium hydroxide. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.